Uh, so today I'm going to give my midterm presentation about my capstone research project. So the topic of my project is emotive expression by interactive architecture. And the research, um, so the concept of research question I have is that how can architectural objects invoke intimacy and empathetic association between human and their surroundings through tangible interaction? Um, the reason that I focus my research on tangible interaction is that um, is that uh, physical interaction um, is the most instinctive way of perception and communication. Like Margaret Atwood said, touch comes from sight before speech. It, is, uh, it comes before sight before speech. It is the first language and the last, and it always tells the truth. Um, so so um, the physical interaction can be very subtle or very engaging, but either way, it is also very powerful in terms of creating and preserving the emotional connections. So this brings to my practice-based research question that how can I create objects behaving as part of architectural space that have emotive expressions? Uh, what is the object's structural presence in an architectural space? What kind of material can evoke uh, emotional association? What kind of physical interaction should be incorporated to create intimate feelings? Um, the literary review I have are two academic papers which are somehow so really closely associated with each other. The first one is called Introduction to Human Beauty building interaction, interfacing HCI with architecture and urban design. So this article uh, introduced the emerging area of human building interaction as an interdisciplinary domain of research, uh, which interface human community interaction with architect architecture and urban uh, design. So they ask fundamental questions such as um, what are the specific attributes of built environments that HCI researchers should take into account when shifting attention and scale from artifacts to environments? And um, are the architecture and interaction design methods of, and process compatible? Um, they also introduced this um, model of HBI research, which has three dimensions as social, spatial, and physical. Um, and um, the, the three-centric circle of people, built environment, and computing reflect the three co coordinates relevant to the uh, HBI questions as, as described uh, before. Um, so this circle, this model of HBI helps give me um, directions when I'm doing my research that um, shows me what what aspect should I focus on for my following research. As I said, I want to focus on my tangible interactions, so it should be about the spatial and physical interaction, interactivity in the indoor or the spatial comfort. The next one is called Window World, was adapted buildings with interactive windows as big creatures uh, display. This is an article um, from a research that they um, they kind of understand architecture is as strongly related to buildings, materials, walls, roofs, windows, and doors are essential building blocks for homes and artifacts. However, they are trying to um, reverse these elements instead of using static or constitute the forms of an experience of building. Um, they're trying to explore the, in the interactive technology how can it make some of these buildings block dynamic and adjustable? Um, so this this uh, research paper gives me insights of how uh, um, usually perceived static architectural elements objects can um, incorporate with in interactive techniques and give insight of how to uh, draw. Uh, inspirations from the environment we are already in and to apply the uh, interaction, interactive knowledge we have. Uh, the related art practice, uh, the first one is called Ada, the intelligence room. This is, uh, so this is an artificial organism as designed. Uh, it has the ability to interact and communicate with uh, the visitors in the room. Uh, but um, based on the latest research in the new informa informatics, so it is a very intelligent um, being that locates and identifies the visitors by using her senses of vision, auditions, or touch. And um, she, she then um, 
using the screen as a single virtual display to convey her response to the visitor's um, actions or emotions. So um, the, this product utilizes a wide range of techniques to uh, sensing the multiple behavior people have in a room, which gives me insights of the potential possibility and technologies I can utilize or explore for my project of um, about how to sensing how to complete the interaction circle. And the last one, uh, the second project-based project is called the Mobile Robotic Fabrication System, which is um, very related to the, the material experiment I would like to take. Uh, it shows like, how units of um, some like mechanism or robotics is able to interact with the space and construct the space and real frame the space in a sense. And yeah, this is my uh, midterm presentation. Thank you very much.